You think that's all I got there, little man? You must not know me too fucking well. Uh, I don't know how long you've been on this TTC shit, son. But I've been up here for four fucking years. And I've had every cocksucking troll, every trash talker from here to fucking LA here to motherfucking Texas here to motherfucking up north of them Yankee bastards. Now, I did misspeak in my video where I said y'all were 16 and 31. I meant to say y'all have lost 16 out of 31 games. I misspoke in that video, but you want to take off and run with it, that's fine. That's real, that's, that's fine. But let's talk about what you've been trying to talk about up here, about the SEC being top heavy. That is the biggest asinine comment I've heard out of any of the Notre Dame fans. Now y'all want to get up here and you want to talk shit about the SEC, a team that's not in a conference. Won't y'all jump in a conference and then y'all can talk some shit. I mean, I mean, y'all think y'all are better than everybody. Y'all go out and y'all get beat by these no-name teams every fucking year, except for this year. I mean, you've been beat by Navy. You've been beat by fucking, you've been beat by Stanford like a dog. You've been beat by Michigan State. Good Lord, how many years has it been since y'all beat Michigan State at their house? Been a long fucking time. But y'all wanna get up here and y'all wanna talk about the SEC. Talk about us being top heavy. Top heavy. Six of the top ten teams in the BCS are from the SEC. I don't call that top heavy, I call that domination. And you wanna talk about nine teams in our league. Every that team are going to bowl games. Nine in the SEC that's going to a bowl game can beat those teams that y'all play close games with. Like BYU. Like fucking Pitt. Pit! Now come on now. Now you can talk all this shit you want about how dominating you are and how good your defense is and all this shit. Now I just got off. I've been watching a little film of them of uh, of Notre Dame over there, you know. And I watched. I was watching a little bit of the Michigan Notre Dame game, you know, because that's the only game I could really compare us to because we played. That's the only common opponent that we played this year. It was Michigan, and uh, I think y'all played them the fourth game of the year, and we played them the first game of the year. You know, uh, when all the expectations were high, when Michigan thought they had a damn good football team and they were going to roll all over Alabama, and they come out there and they look like a JV football team on the field when they seen us. They are super small. And as I looked on that, on that game, y'all ain't much bigger than Michigan. On offense, y'all are very fucking small on offensive line. I'll give it to you, y'all got a pretty good offensive line. But y'all, is y'all's offensive line ready for this this fucking beating our front seven is going to give y'all. And I'm not talking about just seven. I'm talking about seven. We're going to bring three more in there, fresh, ready, to fucking come after your boy Ghosting. Now, another thing I want to know, how many times do you think Brian Kelly will pull him in this game? Now, I've seen him pull him a few times in this game. He didn't really have confidence in him. That freshman out there, that, that freshman phenom that y'all got, that's only thrown 11 touchdown passes this year. That thinks he's hot shit. That likes to throw them them early interceptions in football games. I promise you this right now. I promise you this right now. If y'all throw an early interception or y'all turn the ball over early against us, this game will get ugly fast. It will get ugly fast. I promise you. I promise you. Now I see a lot of a lot of bullshit where these teams like to run outside over you. And y'all are good on defense running side to side. But what about that? Huh? What about knows the Bryant strictly business when we run straight at y'all like we did Georgia. Go back and watch that Georgia game and watch how we manhandled them. Go back and watch that LSU game. A better defensive line than y'all ever thought about having. Got two top five defensive ends on that team and, man, and uh, big Sam Montgomery and Mango over there. Oh, they're, they're just, you know, they're just SEC players. You know, SEC's top heavy. That's garbage. You can go take that out. You can push that out with the trash that your daddy and mommy takes, makes you take out. And you can, t you can take that shit over and throw it in the fucking trash, son. Because that's all that is. That's all that is. Fucking garbage. And then you come up here and you go with these fucking stats. Stat after stat after stat. Most of these stats, we're second behind y'all. But who's the number one quarterback in quarterback fists? Who's the number one quarterback in the country? A.J. McCarron is. Now you talking about a quarterback that hadn't thrown but three interceptions all season. Now, y'all gonna try to come up in there and y'all gonna try to stack that box against our running game. And I swear we're gonna go that sweet play action. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hit Norwood across the middle. If it's not a, if it's not Norwood, 
we'll throw it to fucking Kristen Jones. I mean, your secondary is small. Real small out there, and they look kind of slow to me. Now, I've seen, I seen old Lee out there from USA. I just, I just watched him blow by your fucking secondary when everybody in your secondary was fucking 20 yards back off the fucking where they needed to be, out of position, playing back. Now, y'all almost got beat by a backup quarterback, a freshman backup quarterback at that. Now, probably one of the worst coach football games I've ever seen Lane Kiffin coach. And y'all gonna get up here and y'all gonna y'all gonna beat y'all's chest and say y'all ready for Alabama. Y'all gonna punch us in the mouth. Oh, you don't know about us. We're Notre Dame. Let me tell you something, boys. These helmets right here, we ain't never rode one out and whooped nobody's ass. I promise you that. But the boys that are in these helmets, they've kicked many. And I ain't never seen a, a golden donor helmet be rolled out there for anybody in Alabama to be scared of it. We're not scared of it. We Ogans. We Ogans for 74. And we're going to kick the shit out of y'all for four fucking quarters. And that's just the way it's going to be, boys. Now, all this mystique about Notre Dame football being the best college program in the country is fucking horse shit. The biggest hot college football team in the country is Notre Dame, and everybody knows it. It don't matter what you got. It don't matter what shows up on the field. As long as you got your golden donor, donor helmets on, Notre Dame is the best college football team in the world. Well, you're three and nine fucking asses taking up NBC TV time. I bet you NBC is so glad that y'all finally got y'all shit together so their fucking ratings don't go to the fucking bottom of the heap. Because that's about what you are. I mean, you want respect out of Law Tide? Get out of the fucking bottom of the barrel, motherfuckers! But play somebody! Don't go play fucking... No, you want to go to fucking Ireland and play somebody? Get somebody like Alabama to play! Don't go over there and play some candy asses like fucking Navy! I don't want to hear that shit. Go over there and play a shitty damn Navy team. Act like you're battered shit. Ain't about shit, boys. Ain't never been about shit since Lou Holtz has been there. Ain't been shit since Lou Holtz. You know it? And that's a fucking, and that's just the fucking gist of it. And you want to get up here and you want to ask me, is that the best you got? Let me tell you something, that punk. I, I, gotta, I get up here and I take it easy on you when somebody tries to put you over, tries to put you on. You need to get up here and respect that shit and quit being a little punk ass kid with your runny ass nose. Blow that motherfucking nose one fucking time before you get up here and talk shit about Alabama and Law Tide, son. You understand? You understand that? I'm your fucking daddy this week, boy. I don't give a shit what you say. Get up here and run your fucking mouth about Law Tide all you want, but come. January 7th, when you meet us at the 50 January 7th, because we're going to kick y'all's fucking ass for four fucking quarters, boy. And ain't nothing and nobody can do anything about it, boys. You know, this is old hat for us. This is what we do. We win championships in Alabama. What do y'all do? Y'all can't even go to the bowl game. Fuck you, you fucking Notre Dame pukes. That's all you are and that's all you'll ever be in my book. Fucking big dickhead motherfucking bastard. And that's all you'll be as fucking bastards to me. That's all you'll ever be, Notre Dame, is the biggest flops. The biggest fucking flops in college football. Now wait until January 7th we punch y'all in, in the fucking face, boys. I cannot wait till we bring our 15th national championship back to Tuscaloosa where it belongs, baby. Back in our trophy case. Oh, it didn't leave long. It's not going to leave long. Yeah, I'm getting fired up, honey. We're three weeks away. I'm fired up. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ain't nobody gonna beat us. You can't stop us. We're going for number 15. You're going for number 12, you say. Who gives two shits? We're gonna kick y'all's motherfucking asses, boys! You can go dig up the motherfucking four horsemen. It ain't gonna make a motherfucking thing. January 7th, boys. It's not gonna make a fucking difference. I can't wait. I can't wait to shut your little fucking punk ass up and you get up here and you crow the fuck up. You crow the fuck up. You don't be a bitch like that Georgia fan that couldn't get up here and crow up talking about how much he cared about the TTC. Fuck him. Get up here. Show me what the fuck you got, boy. Don't hit me with no stats, son. Stat ain't never won a football game. Stat ain't never won a BCS championship. <sighs> you joke. Roll tide, everybody.